Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers at Caltech have confirmed the existence of an underground ocean of water on one of the moons of Saturn. The moon is Enceladus, Saturn's sixth largest natural satellite. Using gravitational measurements taken by the Cassini spacecraft from 2010 to 2012, scientists were able to carefully study the mass of Enceladus and confirm that there is most likely an ocean of water beneath the surface in the moon's southern polar region. The Enceladus Ocean is located beneath a region called the Tiger Stripes, where plumes of water vapor erupt through cracks in the frozen surface. There's also good reason to believe that this is a salt water ocean and that it sits atop the moon's rocky core. This makes Enceladus one of the most likely locations in the solar system to host extraterrestrial life. Next up, the National Institute of Standards and Technology has begun using a new atomic clock which is being called the most accurate clock ever made. The clock is called the NIST F2. Along with its predecessor, the NIST F1, it will serve to set the standard for U.S. civilian time and send data to the International Bureau of Weights and Measures in Paris to help determine coordinated universal time, the international standard. The NIST F2, which uses the motions of cesium atoms to precisely measure the length of a second, is so accurate that it will neither gain nor lose a second for 300 million years. Countless technologies all over the world rely on the accuracy of time standards determined by atomic clocks. Now, the most accurate clock ever built, three times as accurate as its predecessor, will help to determine those standards. Finally, researchers at MIT have cured a rare liver disorder in mice using gene editing. Utilizing a gene editing technique called CRISPR, Researchers were able to find the mutated gene responsible for type 1 tyrosinemia, a disorder that can lead to liver failure and affects one out of every 100,000 people, and replace that defective gene with a corrected version. The result? The mice who suffered from tyrosinemia, who received the treatment, were cured. The CRISPR system uses an enzyme called Cas9, which can be programmed to find and cut out a particular sequence of DNA. Simultaneous to the introduction of Cas9, a strand of DNA containing the corrected gene is also delivered, which the cell uses as a template when repairing the damage caused by the Cas9 enzyme. The final result is a corrected DNA sequence and a living animal cured of a genetic disorder. The MIT researchers hope that one day this technique can be utilized on human patients to treat other genetic disorders such as hemophilia and Huntington's disease. Astronomers find an ocean of water beneath the surface of one of the moons of Saturn. NIST introduces a new atomic clock that they won't have to reset for another 300 million years. And researchers use gene editing to cure a genetic disorder. That's the good news. Maybe we can use gene editing to fix your attitude. <laughs>